would you mind going back to slide number five, the do nots? Um, five? Yeah, I believe uh, when, when, you, when you have do not do something. Um, what do you do when you have an issue with one of your uh, fellow board members who um, does everything? <laughs> uh, does exactly what you said in your examples. Like, what, what do you do from there? I mean, what we what we do is we just take responsibilities away from that person. But is that appropriate, or what? What do you what do? You do you do everything that comes to Like the examples, like the examples you gave, like comes to an event. In, uh, where it's uh, yeah, short, in, sh in a hoodie or in shorts, even though it's... Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Well, I, well, I mean, it, I mean, it's within your own organization. You have an impact on you. There is a, you have a reputation on your campus of your organization. You know, I, I mean, it, your control of an individual is only going to be so far. You know, I mean, it, it, unless, unless you can sanction the person of not attending, which isn't really effective, nor is it many times possible, but it's just, you know, that peer pressure of, you know, this isn't what we're about, this isn't what we portray ourselves to be, but if it's an isolated incident, if it is an individual, then having that, you know, not to call cut anyone, but if you have that open relationship with your VPs, with your president, with your directors, whoever may be impacted by this, to let them know, look, this is what we are doing. This is how we are addressing the situation. It's up to that individual to make his or her mind up. You know, and if the, choose, the person chooses not to do it, you have no control over that. But at least you have that conversation with your campus president, your VP, to let them know we're aware of it, one. You know, we don't have our head buried in the sand. Two, this is how we're addressing it. And hopefully these are the strategies that we're employing. But at the end of the day, if they're still doing what they're doing and acting out, there's not much more you can do that. But I think they will respect that you did have that conversation. They won't hold it against the organization as a whole and will understand that it is an individual, not the, not the organization. And unfortunately, what happens without that conversation, and sometimes with conversation, depending on the person, but what happens if you don't have that conversation is very quick and convenient for someone to say it's the whole organization. Because when, it, when, when they're looking for convenience for that, it's because they're not agreeing with you on something. So don't give them that convenience. So just make sure that it's out front. You don't have to call them out publicly, but at least have that one-on-one -on -one dialogue to say, we understand, we're trying to do the best we can with this. Awesome. Thank you.